nasties all around, and they're attacking me, and I don't want to die. Give them a good old boot to the barnacle. They'll get the message. Barnacle boot. They don't call eh. you a barnacle booter for nothing. God, this but guy we can't figure gross. out why still. <laughs> they don't even wear boots. They wear loafers. <laughs> they look comfortable. Hopefully I'll get up there before he dies. Well, Hopefully. The weird, thing about, the weird thing about stars is you don't actually even have to participate to get uh, credit. Like, we've, we've kind of already established this. Though. You okay, just have well, to be tangentially in the area. And you will get credit for it, which is nice. It's the participation award of WoW. <laughs> well, it's a lot better than what they had originally. Having to take down the same boss character and wait for things to respawn. Ah! <laughs> it's terrible. Hogger. We should go kill Hogger at some point. He's gone, isn't he? I got a pendant. Uh, no, Hogger's still somewhere around. But they took him out of where he was? I think so. I think That's he's still weird. in the game, I just think they moved him somewhere. That used to be a guild tradition, is that you'd, you'd roll a bunch of level 1 characters and all go fight Hogger without yeah, doing any quests. I, oh man, we did that once. Um, we did that a couple of times, so Tuesday was like Whoa, always so many day people one just got for... booted. <laughs> booted from where? So they removed Inactives. five members. Yeah, they, they weren't active. Probably hadn't played in a month or something. Um, You're so, so glowy! Back when uh, Whoa. back when I was there's raiding, a... Tuesdays was were always the day. There's that, a quest over here. I guess, yeah. I can't find uh, it. It's right here. Tuesdays were always the days that the oh, raids the would reset. Under the debris. <laughs> but Tuesdays I'll read it were as also soon as we get the uh, done with this, or you can read it. Tuesdays were also the days where uh, they do maintenance, and sometimes it would take a while. And so I think they were, they had like just released Ulduar and we were waiting for it and it actually took them like four hours for our server to come back up. So we made a bunch of level ones and went off to fight Hogger. Mm -hmm. And then we're like, this is, well, we, d we did this, what do we do next? So we made a bunch of lo uh, Death Knights, raced them through the Death Knight starting area and went off to fight Hogger a second time. Okay. Remnants of the past. The journal entry appears hastily written. I do not know what has become of my village. Ever since the mists engulfed the harbor, my kinsfolk have changed. Some have grown violent and salvage, while others have fallen into madness. Many have ventured into the mists and have yet to return. In these times, we can usually turn to our leader, Jarl Tarbin. Jarl. 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 Alas, the mists have taken him as well. I do not know what will become of me. For now, I can only stay at my post and remain vigilant. Locate the clues to discover the fate of the people in the harbor. Yar. Wait, I didn't. I didn't pick it up. <laughs> They're all dead. I clearly thought Spoilers. I. Spoilers. He just walked away without it. There we go. Well, yeah. Now we have to go back down to the harbor. 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 No. There's a t the path is tiny. It's just a little dirt path. I found a really good way of uh, throwing off birds. Cool. Bird. Criticizing <laughs> his his yeah, criticizing his Murloc impression. <laughs> he gets really angry. He gets really angry. You guys see the Urgev the Flayer Star? Him. Uh, no. What? Did you guys miss the star over here? Oh. What? That's oh right. Master. Coming down. I think that was one of the things we initially came up for. Yeah, his uh, his Murloc voice is not even slightly close. I don't, I don't know how it, I don't know how he got it. He's just like, ar, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> his that, his that Murloc again? voice sounds exactly like what you think a Murloc would sound like if you haven't played WoW recently. Ever. <laughs> well, there it goes. He's dead. Under attack. And Leave me alone. Under resources. <laughs> well, conveniently, I get the reward anyway. Sweet biz. Yeah, there was a whole. There was already a group fighting it. Hey, it works. Flares, Runa wraps. Oh, that stag! How it, it's murdering me! Oh yep. no! Oh wait, how did I get healed? Did what he are we gonna me? do about nope. this? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm slightly sleep deprived because uh, you got, Wander's been got, keeping I us think up till about by a death night. five in the morning. Maybe. Uh. 
I was up distressingly late last night for no real good reason. Whoa, guys, look at the ground. It's just... Bones? Bones. Yep. Under the leaves. Yep. For some reason, after I watched Star Wars, I was like, I'm just gonna catch up on Hunger Games now. So I watched both parts of Mockingjay back to back. Wow. <laughs> I think I actually, interestingly, uh... In a lot of ways, the at the end of Hunger Games is a lot like Rogue One, just as a general movie. And I kind of liked the, it, and I kind of enjoyed uh, Mockingjay more. <laughs> Wait, the first or the second part? The second part. I have, I, I will admit I haven't watched either. I watched the first Hunger Games, which was good. The second was kind of lame, and then by the third part, two and uh, one and two, I was just like. Wait, eh. how did you guys finish the quest and I didn't? Which quest? You have to talk to him. Oh. You are Probably here I corrupted the Stormforge. Okay. Walk with purpose. How dare wow, that was fast. So brashly opposed Wait, what? His voice act uh -huh. is funny. Oh, God. <laughs> it looked like Odin for a moment. Uh. That sea which must be the price of her defiance. The thing happened. <laughs> where you didn't get the quest, or no, where he became super guy. Oh yeah, for like one Odin. second. Yeah. Well, he's a, he's Odin. He's Odin. It was a weird moment still. Yes. Uh, by the way, he was. Uh, this is this is the level eighty quest line for the area. We totally skipped whatever we're supposed to be doing. Gain here. Odin's favor within the trial of Valor raid. So that's the end. Yeah, so we're gonna have to What do you mean by level 80? That's later. 30 levels ago. Or, not, it's, sorry, that's <laughs> my bad. Level 80 was the max. This is the level 110 quest line. Like, See, we kind of skipped I like end. how we're all from different periods, too, because, like, in my head, my default number would be 70. Yeah. So, are we going back down the mountain? Um, well, okay. Let's go get clues. It would, it would be just for the clues. Yeah. Okay. We can. We can go. Let's get go the get clues. a raging clue. Okay. And uh, are you gonna cast raging clues? Wait. No. Oh, thank you. See okay. Yeah, bitches. <laughs> you <can laughs> raging <use> clues. Your, <laughs> I, you can always use your like don't take damage from shit to not. Die. I don't know if I have that. You, you do. Play We've already proven that you Which have it. Which one is it? It's. Is it this one with the crown? Uh. Maybe I don't know. It's ball. Shield of, hand of protection, <laughs> shield of. No, I don't. Uh, okay, for a moment I thought I was gonna get caught on a tree again, and that would be the worst. I landed on a building. Oh, you you can actually see um, status effects on enemy uh, health bars now. Nice. Like above their heads. Oh, that actually looks really sweet. When you hit V. Yeah. Wait, I got a clue. Oh, you guys must be getting the clues. I'm getting the hardest clue right now. Clues, clues, it's clues, clues. <laughs> Where's your clue take me, Wonder What? Uh, <laughs> Straight to the bedroom. <laughs> oh, let's, let's follow your clue. I don't think I want you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, you guys don't watch South Park. You probably haven't seen that, have you? Nope. No. Oh. I, I know it's from South Park, but... Yeah. They, like they do an episode the on the Hardy Boys where they just get the two of them are getting a raging clue right now, <laughs> and they just run with that for an entire episode. It's really creepy. I think they called them the Hard. Uh, I think they called them the Hardly Boys. Oh, the Hardy Boys. Uh, I see. I used to read Nancy Drew. Did the new South Park game came out right? No. No? I thought it came out like uh, a week or two ago. Or something on, on you play. Uh, I, could, I could double check later, but I could have sworn that it was it was pushed forward. Okay. Uh, I, I, I just, it, it was on my calendar to come out like weeks ago, but then I think it oh, was pushed to next year. You know what? Maybe maybe what I was looking at was a outdated calendar. Are you up the hill so that you can get that clue? Or <gasps> there's a chest, a secret chest. A secret chest. It's it's sitting on top of that post over there. Don't know how I'm gonna get to it. <laughs> I'd recommend jumping. Levitate me. Where are you? There we go. Over here. I oh, mean, yeah. you're probably gonna oh get to god, it Oh my god, my tentacles. Oh, they're gone now. <laughs> I had wibbly wobbly tentacles on my body. They're freaking me out a little bit. 
don't tell me you were just able to leap up there with your double eh. jump. Is, it, is there any way for me to get up there aside from jumping from the ne nearby cliff? I'm gonna have to. Uh, you can hop from the rocks. Where's onto the that chest? building? This one's. It's on top of that house. Yeah, there's a there's a beam sticking Where out did... of the front. Do we have something that hooks us to these hooks? Not You've yet. You've been playing too much Shadow Tactics, man. <laughs> no, these no these hooks really are cool. all over the place. Like we're supposed to be able to attach them, and that guy, and that guy shot a oh, chain yeah. out. There are grapple points. Yeah, and they guy, light up. That, it. Another player just shot out a hook. Huh. Oh, maybe we get that. Yeah. A guy shot out a chain like he attached to the hook and everything. So, like, I think we get an ability to let us okay, get up the there. Okay, is the chest right here? Yes, the chest is here. I'm going to get off this. And I'm going to have to position myself carefully. Show really does not like that double jump. Oh, no! Ah, 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 ah. World of Warcraft I... physics hate you. <laughs> Did you see that? Because I tried dropping I didn't, off the I didn't edge see and it, it but I, me... I didn't see it, but I lived it. <laughs> it sent me crazy. I've lived it so many forward. times. Yep. Why? The jump is garbage. You like get stuck in an arc. So like, it wow isn't parkour an arc. is a total nightmare. Wow core. Yeah, so I don't know how Not, I'm gonna. God damn it! <laughs> uh, you you see, you got closer at least. Yeah, because I I, uh, I started changing direction in midair instead of at the beginning of the jump. But yeah, you your control over yourself is iffy. Okay, I'm gonna start from the beam and take a. <gasps> no! <laughs> I went off the other edge. What is this? Wait, but there's something else purple in the distance. It was like a glimmer. Tell me about your distant purples. It's probably that torch hanging There we go. So I just jumped across from the other roof and landed on it on my first try. Uh, there we okay, go. Okay, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to go further because I attempted to do something similar but I'd gone from the neighboring beam rather than the neighboring house. I went on the opposite house and jumped off the little like x-shaped beams on the top and made yeah, it here. It's kind of a garbage jump. Ouch. Get away from me, axe man. Just jump I off and it's my... fine. Nothing can really hurt you. It's a video game. <laughs> eh. Okay, so I'm on the neighboring house. Yeah, I jumped up. I went on top of the X. Oh no! Or you could do that. <laughs> That's almost like doing it right, except for the part where you don't get a chest at the end. <laughs> except for failing miserably. Except at for the, the fail. Axeman chased you all the way down here. He's now running around. I, he's now running around the houses. <laughs> that's why I can't get on my mount. Uh, okay. <laughs> he's running back up the wall after you. Uh, <laughs> and and to show off, somebody just used the chain to get up here. I know. Ah, 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 ah. Watch us get it in the next quest, too. Uh, <laughs> you missed I, the houses! I missed entirely! <laughs> Shell! <laughs> Shell, you need help? Yes! <laughs> More because I'm having these hideous men chasing after me. Do you need me, me to cast Levitate on you so you can fly from Shell, the neighboring here. house Shell. over here? Oh, I Shell. mean, that, Shell. that would be nice. Shell. Where are you? I'm over here. Are you on the roof? I'm gonna be on the roof if I don't mess up this time. If you, if you go on the neighboring house and stand on the X that's on the roof, I can levitate you and you can just fall in this direction. Okay, that would be better. Let's see. It's so like just stand, yeah, huh. like on the like X. Here? And that then work. just like go okay. in this direction and you'll float at it. There we go. Thank you! <laughs> Success! I'm a sparkle Finally. ball. I failed so many times. That was that was embarrassing. <laughs> Ow! <What'd you> <laughs> <laughs> here. The guy that keeps Go chasing away. after me. What do you yeah, want with me? It's Tarvin. Where did you come from? I Go Darvin. away. Oh. Where, did, where did you come from? Where did you go? Guys? Huh? This guy has, like, a lot of health. Like, he had 9 million when it was just me fighting him. You guys show up and suddenly he has 17 million. Oh, well, it must scale, then. Now we must break him. No Beaver. fear bad. 
you're bad. And after a certain point, you'd feel like the characters would just not be afraid of, like, anything, anything. anymore. It's just like... I always wonder what what fear is supposed to be represented as mechanically in a video game. Like in dwarves, your your main your characters can fear each other. <laughs> that game is kind of it's bad. neat, but it's also kind of bad. It you keeps see, getting worse just... as you approach the end of it. It just okay, keeps so getting just, worse. We just got the uh, the weird like mind control uh, dwarf chick. How far is that? Uh. Like when you, you, there's like another map after that map. Okay. And it's once, it's when you stop using the map that the game takes out its final horrible nosedive in quality. And all oh the worst no. encounters of the game start happening back to back. Yeah, we kind of took that one slow. Uh, partially ah, because when we were in the Dwarven the Stronghold, it was maxing up my CPU. And oh, I was just yeah. like, this is super con concerning. It's kind of agony when that game starts trying to be hard because the game has almost no mechanics. So when it yes. when so like when it gets hard, you're like, I don't have tools to use to do this. And this I can't do tactics because the game doesn't let me do tactics. Like it's just a ni mindless, stupid game. But then it tries not to be mindless and stupid, and it doesn't work. Okay. So the mists of this bay rot not only the wood of the ships but the very souls of its inhabitants. But it seems you've already discovered this. Do you know what you see here, little outsider? It's the fate of the Tidescorn. Once not so scorned by the tides, it was Helia, the foul sea witch, whose wrath was consumed by their fleets. Or, whose wrath consumed their fleets, and whose foulness broke the mightiest of the vehicle. The Jarls had no choice but to give up the sea, for axe and sword do not play mist and brine. All right, scavenging shallows. The Cavaldir exist despite Odin. And it is here their spiteful work is done. They rob the souls of the living, the souls not yet judged, thus robbing Odin of his champions. They bring them here to transport he to Helia, though the mists obscure any indications of how. You seem to fare the mist well. Perhaps if you search the wreckage in the bay, maybe uh, the answers may present itself. What? What? Get more into character, Carl. No. Aww. <laughs> you outsiders seem to have no. a knack for uncovering the most hidden of secrets. Honor the fallen. Souls are not only a plunder Helia are not the only plunder Helia craves, and the Cavaldir are ever eager to please. Among their spoils are the vulnerable Venerable. Venerable So the problem is there's a lot of this like weird like texturing stuff in the back. Right, and it kind of mess messes paper. with my like ability to read. It also doesn't help that for whatever reason, all of my quest pop ups are in the top left corner of the screen and tiny, <laughs> and so it's kind of hard to read from where I'm sitting because I have a big monitor and the, this is small text. Okay, the venerable blades of the fallen heroes who dared stand against Helia's minions. These blades belong in a place of honor, not among their wretched kind. Reclaim the blades for the honor of the Tidescorn. Like eight ancient Tidescorn blades from the Cavaldir in the Hellmouth sh Shallows. Okay, and Shadows in the Mist. Many of the Cavaldir here in the bay are former denizens of this harbor, cursed by the form of the Sea Witch Helia to do her bidding for all time. The ones you read about, they still walk the stagnant waters. They could be given respite, should a kind soul bring it to them at the tip of a blade. So tell me, how kind is your soul? <laughs> oh. Goodbye, then. Adequate. Right <laughs> yeah, the dwarves... What really blew me away at some point was just realizing that, like, you can't tell people whether or not to attack stuff. Or whether or not to hold yes. position. Like, there's no oh, hold yeah, position I... button, so you can't... So, like, the game starts giving you danger zones, but you can't control your character's positions because they constantly r ignore you and run around like lunatics. Ooh. And so, like, you're like, how do I make them not be in the danger zone? What really blew me away is that this is a character with a crossbow, and you can't tell him to stand still and <laughs> fire his crossbow. Yeah, and I'm he like, always runs up in melee. And yeah, then I'm like, what are you them. doing? You're a ranged character. Do you not I understand that concept? I gave that guy so fast. His knockdowns are great, but like, there's no point in using somebody that behaves that stupid. I really don't yeah. like the friendly fire in that the game. game oh, yeah. The game is genuinely, like, it's incompetent. <laughs> like, the game is incompetently made as a video game that you play levels through. Like... Then it only becomes more clear as you go through it. Like, wow, I 
these levels are just not designed to be played. Like, none of it makes sense. On a basic level, it falls apart. And it just keeps getting worse until the game finally ends, and you're like, okay. I really do dig the, like, storytelling mechanics for it. Like, it did feel nice and storybooky, And still does. But yeah, the actual gameplay feels Yeah, weird. but even the story starts and to suffer because it starts going too fast, and it has too many characters. Because the first, the first act of the game is just three characters hanging out on a little bro trip adventure, and that part's really nicely developed. But then, like, mm -hmm. they, but before long, you have 14 characters, and it's like, and almost none of them are Whoa. developed, and nothing, nothing makes sense. And like, it, it gets really baffling and nonsensical and way too fast for the, you to care about the story anymore. Also, That's that means that you use 14 resources every time you move a, a tile, for example. Yes. Very and early on in the game, I bought like 300 uh, resources, and I haven't had the chance to buy any more. And Shell was like, "Why would you spend all the mo all that money on that?" And I'm like, yeah. "I've yet to find a reason to spend money on anything else." So the map and also like, is badly made too, because oh yeah, uh, you'll be someone will be like go slightly out of town, and like, you'll send a character to go scout the location and stuff like that, and they'll be back that night that when you go to camp. But then you look at the map, the location they scouted, and it's like. 12 locate it's like 12 steps away like that would have taken you two weeks to go there and two weeks to come back How did you get there in one day? But then that means you still have to investigate that place That's supposed to be local in the story, but you have to spend a month of resources to make the round uh, trip. Shell you might want to run up to us. We got a star up here. Oh, okay Also, I find Shell and then the entire Sorry. resource things become becomes a farce anyway because if you run out of resources nothing happens Oh, really? You just stop healing. Oh, yeah, it does okay, like so no one starves like, you, you, everyone's totally fine if you don't have resources. So it's like this big scare over nothing, basically. You guys are all the way on the other side of the zone. Because the or, fact, that, the fact that people will, st will uh, stop healing doesn't even matter that much because uh, whenever you progress the story, everyone just auto-heals. And then later in the game, there's parts of the story where you have to do multiple Heath, consecutive... you might want to stop killing him for a second. Oh, she's not here? Nope. I... I so you I decided tell. to take the long route through the water? Um... Well, <laughs> well. Also, I could die. What's baffling is that the uh, before long, uh, for the entire climax of the game, you just do a whole bunch of stuff where you just do a bunch of fights, and the story will just basically teleport you to the next fight each time. So you can't walk around on the map, so you can't heal anyone's wounds, and you, you can try to strategically cycle people in and out of your party based on their wounds. But your main character is in your party forever, so he's just wounded down to, to being dying. It, it leads to a situation where you're starting fights where she'll die in, in, she'll die well, in one you hit. Just, you just aggroed like a bunch more guys, Shell. Well, that's the thing. Oh, I, God. I had Nobody to, was chasing you. I had to run over here and everyone was no chasing me. No one was me. chasing Yes, you. everyone was chasing <laughs> me. At that point, no one was chasing you. It's fine, there's heals. Uh, but yeah, get ready to start uh, fights where your main character is ready to die in one hit every time you start a fight. <laughs> I might just flip the game down to easy mode at that point. He's, he's stacked up with wounds that you can't do anything about because the game won't let you go back to the map to walk around and use resources. That sucks. Ooh, yep. rat eye, a cyclops. Well, also, so I, I fought I one boss that didn't, it was so minor to the story that he didn't have a name, <laughs> but, uh, but he was the hardest thing in the entire game. And uh, the, on my fifth attempt, he died in one hit. So the game just broke, wow. and I'm like, I guess I beat him. It was so anticlimactic and infuri infuriating to put that many attempts in against something that seemed like the game was not designed for me to even be able to fight him. And then just have him die one hit. <laughs> it kind of started to fall apart on us when we got when it was just the uh, the orc running around with the rucksack. <laughs> that mission was well when we first <laughs> had to fight. Not on angry. Him. Yeah, did not on fight you. Or was he distracted? He was blasting things, but yeah. I don't really remember if he fought me or not. Okay. I just ran for the rucksack with my entire party and ignored the thing, because you quickly realize in that game that whenever there's an objective, just ignore the entire army and focus on the objective, because the mission will end yep. instantly when you take down the one thing. And fighting okay. a horde of orcs is basically suicide in that game, even though that's what every level is. I was actually pretty good at fighting off the orcs, but in that one, uh, Nadan was supposed to be distracted, and like it even says, like, yeah. Nadon's distracted. Get the rucksack. At which point, Nadon starts nuking the entire party, and it's like, this is a lie. You are a lie. <laughs> the one saving grace you get tactically is that you eventually get one heal, finally. <laughs> one of the characters can learn chain heal, so they'll heal 
they'll do like a chain lightning of heals, but the problem is uh, you can't control who you target with it. With, you can't control who gets healed at all. Mm. <laughs> That's you just click. It, it works like those abilities where you just press the button and it just activates instantly without targeting anything. But it's a heal, which is the last thing that should work that way. And then it can and it could heal your entire party or just one person because it's a chain heal where you have a chance of it bouncing. And so it'll heal your entire party sometimes. Other times it'll heal one person, and it was only the person that had full health already. And you have no control over that. And the game's just... I, I don't know how it just shipped. I, I don't know how a game made out in this state. That that's how it plays. I I think in that case it was... Shoot. The, uh, the devs that made uh, the dwarves had specifically only made um, adventure games before. Oh, God. Yeah, uh, they made the Whispered World, if I remember right. But and si its Silence sequels. just came out. Oh, okay, the, maybe it wasn't the, the Whispered World. Okay, that's that's the sequel to that game, and uh, they wouldn't. One developer doesn't put out two games back to back. No, they, Wait, did, they didn't I think make. I, um, I, think a com I think I saw a comment correcting you on the part one of your dwarves video where he was saying that that's just the publisher, Dedalic. No, um, I specifically looked up the, like, studio that makes this. It's Weird. King Art Games. They definitely yeah, don't, I, don't seem to be someone that knows how to make an RPG. I'd done my research on this company and I was actually kind of surprised because it was not what, what I had expected for, like, a, a team making a tactical RPG. Yeah. Okay, yeah. right. They and made you, the Book you... of Unwritten Tales. Oh, there you go. Yeah, which I, I is... was gonna say the silent. The, I was gonna say the sequel to Whispering World came out the, a week uh, before Dwarves, so it'd be really weird for a developer to do that. Yeah, sorry, they're both uh, point-and-click adventure games, kind yeah. of in a sort of. I'm not gonna say a similar visual style because if I remember right, um, the Book of Unwritten Tales is 3D, but um, yeah, and, and Silence is full 3D. Yeah. Silence is also not great. <laughs> Today, Dalek's not doing good by me right this year. And but, well, Shadow Tactics. I don't know. Did they, they did a good job with that one. Jesus. They published that? <laughs> yeah. A Brief History of oh, the Aeons. I think Dilla Dalek might have published... I'm not sure. They, they might have published uh, Dead Synchronicity. I have no idea. I can look it up. That's a cool game. That's a cool adventure game that has actual uh, puzzles yep. and, point, and yep. exploring and everything and... You know, it's, it's, is, a, it's the type of adventure game where you're gathering up uh, inventory of items and figuring out where they can help you. Yep, that is also uh, Daedalic. Uh, yep. I think the thing with uh, Daedalic is they do publish a lot of garbage, but it's part of it is because they're, I think, the only real German publisher um, that, like, isn't very, very specific to, like, one series. Oh, man, um, you can tell that Silence is a game that was made for German. Because uh, it seemed like the uh, voice, all the voice acting was, was was edited by someone who doesn't speak the language or something, and was just making e it so the sounds all play. Because uh, they will literally like f finish the sentence and immediately start the next sentence so quickly that it's like nightmarish, like rapid fire dialogue. Mm. Like it's all playing too fast because it seems to be put together by someone who doesn't understand what's being said. E 